dear viewers greetings this present video is about the high performance thin layer chromatography in short form it is called as hptlc the contents of this video are general introduction about high performance thin layer chromatography advantages of hptlc over tlc principle of hptlc working method of hptlc applications of hptlc and finally advantages of hptlc a first high performance thin layer chromatography or hptlc high performance thin layer chromatography is a modified and an advanced version of thin layer chromatography technique hptlc is a sophisticated powerful reliable efficient and automated form of thin layer chromatography which have the latest technical developments for quality assessment and evaluation of botanical materials in 1955 ori kaiser improved the thin layer chromatography and named as high performance thin layer chromatography or hptlc compared with other methods used in chromatography hptlc have a wide variety of application in various fields such as biotechnology chemistry phytochemistry pharmaceutical industry food industry cosmetics and many other industries advantages of hptlc over tlc compared to thin layer chromatography the high performance thin layer chromatography provides essential benefits such as improved sample application in the form of automatic or semi automatic manner higher separation efficiencies increased resolution less mobile face usage automation of the drying of the plates less time required for analysis minimized exposure to toxic solvents and finally reduced possibilities of environmental pollution principle of hptlc or high performance thin layer chromatography the principle of hptlc is same as thin layer chromatography that is separation by absorption in hptlc mobile phase is driven by capillary action and carries various components and depending on their affinity towards absorbent the components exhibit absorption on this tertiary phase the components with larger efficiency for tertiary phase interact with the surface and moves slowly in the mobile phase whereas components with lesser affinity for tertiary phase move fast this variation in the movement of components results in the separation of components on the chromatographic plates next working method of hptlc the working method of hptlc includes six steps step 1 is selection of chromatographic layer and mobile phase step 2 is sample preparation step 3 is application of sample and standard step 4 is chromatograph development and drying step 5 is detection of spots and documentation and finally step 6 is densitometer measurement step 1 selection of chromatographic layer and mobile phase in hptlc plates coated with small size particles and narrow size distribution is used thus the surface area of the plate is smooth the size of the plates is comparatively small as compared to the tlc plate and the development distance is 6 cm selection of tertiary phase the selection of hptlc tertiary phase is based upon the type of analyte the most common hptlc tertiary phases are phenyl chemically modified silica gel hydrocarbon impregnated silica gel aluminum oxide magnesium silicate magnesium oxide polyamide cellulose hydrogel gel ion exchanges and polar modified silica gel layers that contains modded amino cyano diol and thiol group here care must be taken 
while handling the plates to avoid contamination. The plates should be observed under UV light to know any damage or presence of impurities on the absorbent. The HPTLC plates should be pre-washed to remove the impurities absorbed on the surface. However, pre-washing is required to study the reproducibility of results and for quantification purposes. The washing may be done by ascending, dipping or continuous method. The most common solvents used for the washing purposes are methanol, chloroform or their mixtures. The plate kept in the open must be activated by placing it in an oven at 110 to 130 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Next, selection of mobile phase. The selection of mobile phase is made on two bases. The first one is type of absorbent and the second one is physical and chemical properties of analyte. The solvent system is selected considering the nature of the components to be separated like polar or non-polar nature, solubility, affinity and resolution. Higher polar solvents are water, methanol, ethanol, acetone, diethyl ether, ethyl acetate, etc. While non-polar solvents are dichloromethane, toluene, chloroform, cyclohexane, petroleum ether, hexane, etc. The developing solvent must be of high purity and the presence of small amounts of water or other impurities can produce irreproducible chromatograms. The step 2 is sample preparation. For chamber saturation, chromatographic chamber is filled with the solvent system 30 minutes prior to development of plates to get an uniform distribution of solvent vapor in the chamber. Solvents like methanol, chloroform and methanol in the ratio of 1 is to 1, ethyl acetate and methanol in the ratio of 1 is to 1, chloroform, methanol and ammonia in the ratio of 90 is to 10 is to 1, methyl chloride and methanol in the ratio of 1 is to 1, 1% 1 ammonia or 1% acetic acid were used to avoid interference from impurities and water vapors. Dry the plates and store it in dust-free atmosphere. And next, activation of pre-coated plates. Freshly opened baths of plates do not require any activation, uh, but plates exposed to high humidity are kept on hand for a long time to be activated. Activation of plates takes place by placing the plates in an oven at 110 degrees Celsius to 120 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Activation of aluminium sheets takes place prior to spotting aluminium sheets by placing the sheets in between two glass plates and placing it in oven at 110 degrees Celsius to 120 degrees Celsius for 15 minutes. Step 3 is application of sample and standard. The sample is applied with the help of some applicators such as capillary tubes, micro bulb pipettes, micro syringes and automated sample applicators. In an advanced mode, sample is spotted on the HPTLC plate with an automatic applicator attached with a compressed nitrogen glass cylinder and operated with software wind cats. Using the applicator, test samples can be applied in the form of spot or band and the recommended concentration of sample is ranging from 0.1 to 1 microgram per liter and the sample concentration above 1 microgram per microliter will result in poor separation. The step 4 is chromatograph development and drying. The chromatograph development is the most important step in the HPTLC procedure. For chamber saturation, chromatographic chamber is filled with the solvent system 30 minutes prior to the development of plate to get an uniform distribution of solvent vapors in the chamber. The HPTLC chromatographs can be developed in four ways. 
the first one is vertical method second one is vario method third one is horizontal method and the fourth one is automatic multiple development the solvent layer thickness of hptl plate is 100 micrometer and due to this smaller particle size separations are achieved at low distance root at 3 to 5 centimeter because of this shorter migration distance less amount of mobile phase is required and the analysis time is greatly reduced and after development remove the plate and dry in vacuum desiccator the step 5 is detection of plates and documentation the developed plates can be detected by using uv cabinet or chamber which provides a non destructive analysis alternatively the spots are analyzed at 254 nanometer or 366 nanometer if the compounds are fluorescent in present days design of uv cabinet is improved which allows fixing of digital camera for recording images of the plate and further the components may be quantified on the same plates a densitometer measurement is the final sixth step and in densitometry a separation tracks are evaluated with the help of a light beam in the form of a slit with adjustable dimensions the reflected light is measured by a photo sensor and the difference between optical response of blank and the sample zone is correlated with various sample zones nowadays a planar chromatogram is evaluated by video technology applications of hptlc or high performance thin layer chromatography first forensic analysis a challenge in forensic toxicology is the identification of unknown poisonous substances in intoxication cases hptlc offers rapid identification as well as qualitative and quantitative analysis for toxic substances and in herbal applications hptlc fingerprint technology can be used in the identification of botanical materials that are very complex in nature food industry in food industry hptlc is used to evaluate nutrients beverages vitamins and pesticides in fruits vegetables and other foodstuffs in pharmaceutical industries hptlc is used in forced production quality control it is also used in the analysis of forced degradation studies stability testing and to check the presence of impurities in the drug in cosmetic industries hptlc technique can be employed for the detection of uv filters used in the formulation of cosmetic products and regarding the clinical applications the hptlc is widely used in metabolism studies drug screening and stability testing etc advantages of hptlc hptlc is a flexible robust and cost effective separation technique employed in the discovery development and analysis of new drugs simultaneous analysis of many samples takes place with the help of hptlc sample preparation is very simple for hptlc no prior manipulation for solvents is required for the hptlc process low solvent expenditure is recorded in hptlc and no traces of previous analysis more than one analyst can work on the system at a time at the time of hptlc analysis shorter developing and analysis time and no prior treatment of solvents like filtration and degassing is required for hptlc analysis and finally fresh stationary and mobile phases are required for each analysis so no interference or contamination comes in the analytical process dear viewers that's all about the high performance thin layer chromatography or hptlc thank you for your support thank you